at Planet Fitness, I don't know if you can tell me, but I'm in the hydro bed and I have to come get a hydro massage because um, basically my hip and my lower back have been killing me and I've been rubbing my ass for three months and everything like that and um, it's still not kicking in like I wanted to. I just finished working out, so I'm like, well, let me go in here and see if I can get a hip and a thing massage. So I'm kind of laying on my side a little bit because that's the problem area for me. Um, so I'm trying to lay on my side as much as possible. And um, yeah, so I just want to come by and tell y'all, I'm still going to the gym, I'm still looking for a second job. My brother went home today. He's my gym partner. He's been coming with me ever since I signed up. So today is the first day I'm going without him. Um, it feels a little odd, but I know that, you know, he was just staying with me for a little bit until um, my dad could take care of both of them without, you know, feeling like he had to take her to appointments or couldn't go in and stuff. So my mom is doing a little bit better. Once again, I did not record while she was there because um, she just was saying how nauseous nice she was and stuff like that. I'm trying not to yell because when this gets right here, I feel like I can't hear she was saying that she is feeling a little bit better so yeah so she's doing a little bit better y'all thank y'all so much for the prayers and the kind words and the positive energy but i just want to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know i'm still going to the gym so if anybody else is going out to the gym i'm here with you in spirit we're working out together i upped my time today by five minutes i'm normally 35 minutes but i went up to 40 so i'm then going to stick here for a week or two or however long i want to and then up until like 45. My goal is 45. So I just want to give y'all an update. I'll talk to y'all later. I can show y'all my freaking new mop. I'm so excited. So this is Finny one. Hold on, let me pause this music. I forgot I could pause it from my phone. It's Paris is watching me because I've been cleaning up for a few hours. Well, anyway, I don't feel like I should have to explain, but this one keeps going down like that. So I keep twisting it. I'm trying to lock it, y'all. Okay, there it goes. So I'm so excited about my mop. This is the first time I'm using it. I know y'all like, wow, this girl's excited about a mop, but watch. Hey, hey. This is why I wanted it, because I have a really bad hip and back. So I can spin it. Yes. The water has to be on hell, by the way. It has to be boiled water. That's how you get an effective. Because squeezing it, look at these two. They said, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? So I'm gonna mop my kitchen over there. Don't judge me, I'm not done cleaning up. Over there by the door, and then also my bathroom. But I did wanna share this experience with y'all. Ciao. Oop, not start from here. You gotta go back. So I should've actually sprayed the floor a little bit because there's some spots for some reason that are really um, hard to get up. And I'm thinking that the hot water will help. Once again, oh shit, I can't show that. <laughs> Um, so I'm thinking that the reason why these spots are a little bit harder, but I'm hoping the, the hot water will loosen them up. I gotta learn how to tighten this mop up, y'all, because she is not giving up. Okay, I'll be back. Y'all, can y'all tell me why people park like this? This is my car here, obviously, the blue one. Why? Why, brother? Why? You could have literally scooted over. There is so much room. I'm not going to show you the license. There is so much room here. Ghetto. So, hey y'all. So I'm sitting outside the store. The score? What? This store called Dreams and Nightmares because I had to come get some more final seal. Now, I don't know if a bunch of you know what it is. So, if you're into makeup, you know what it is. Final seal is the ultimate, like, the ultimate setting spray. But you cannot use it every day. Um, 
you actually are only supposed to use it if you're doing like special effects um, and the okay. only reason why I had to come to this store in Modesto is because you can only get it at specialty stores um mostly makeup stores like this is a place that rents costumes and they also have a bunch of special effects um makeup it doesn't require a, um what's it called a license like an esthetician license or cosmetology or anything um you just need to find a store that sells it so i had to come to modesto because none of the stores have stocked and sold it so here i am but i'm gonna go in here it's this big ass purple building let me see i don't know if you guys can see this so hopefully y'all can see this so it's this nice big purple building i'm gonna try to show you guys when i get out of the car because i am at a 30 minute park 30 minute park i can't talk today um but um just a side note about benign setting spray for the final seal you are not supposed to use it every day okay don't use it every time you beat your face to make your face last for 12 hours it's a great concept but it will start to tear your skin up because it is um, I believe it is primarily alcohol based. Um, I haven't used it in a really long time, but I'm going out tomorrow for um, my friends going away, drink, night, whatever. Um, and I'm like, I want my makeup to last. You know, I'm really oily. So, and then also like if I go out somewhere, it's getting hot now. So, I'm probably going to be like, whenever it's really hot, I'm going to just spray her down with Final Seal. Now, I would recommend buying it from a store because on Amazon, it is hiked up in price. It's like the smallest bottle, like this big, is about $30. And at the store, they said it was like $13 for the medium size. But once again, I will show you guys when I get inside because I am sitting outside. It is 84 degrees. I do have my ear on. Um, but also, I don't want them to think I'm sus. So, I'm going to show you guys that. Okay, so y'all, this is what I'm talking about. It's um, a fire here again. It was one. <coughs> Woo, that went up. Oh. <coughs> Ooh, oh, shit, that really went up in my throat. <laughs> <coughs> oh my God, I'm not being dramatic, I swear. It was a fire on the way here. Um, um, oh God. And I didn't record that one, Avi. Um, but also, it's fire season, y'all. It is the end of April. It's starting to be more going into summer. And you know what that means for this part of California? I don't know. Yeah, well, just about every part of California. California is pretty much fire city, okay? I just want y'all to know that it's all great and dandy until you have a drought. So... So I'm setting my auto pilot. What is it called? Cruise control. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm stressed. I hate when I see fires because it's a lot stressful because the air quality changes, and then you know that means like a lot of more asthma goes up, and then allergies and all the stuff in the air that's burning. So um, just know. California always needs rain. So if you're a California and you complain about rain, this is why we need the rain. This is why we need the rain. So when these start fires start, we have more of a moist ground instead of like a dry ground that um like you know is more immune to more immune? More it happens, more fires happen. I can't think right now, I'm tired today. And honestly, I just went one place and I'm going back home. I wasn't even supposed to leave my house today because I have been running, 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 doing something every day this week. Y'all know my brother was with me up until Wednesday evening. So I have just been kind of running around, running around. Um, and today was my day off because I was super duper duper sore from the gym. So I took today off. I normally go Monday through Friday. I only took this Friday off because, well, you know, um, that part. So, yeah. I want to show y'all my nails. So let me bring down the lights. Y'all, this has to be at least my third or fourth favorite set I have ever done. And, oh my goodness, y'all. I got this red glitter from the nail place by my house 
and I was trying to do this ombre look I saw on Instagram. Granted, I'm not a professional, so I've just been doing my own nails for the past year. And I think I'm actually getting a little bit better at laying acrylic. It does, it is very important what kind of tool you use. The brush is very important. So I went through a few brushes. So I did want to show y'all this glitter though. Like, oh my goodness. And I only did this like gold detail on one finger on each nail, which is my ring finger on each nail, which is whatever finger I wear my ring on. This is my Grammy's ring and this is my promise ring that I've had for two years now it's lotion in there don't be funny um I just put hella hand cream on or actually body cream um because I like the consistency of it better but this one from Dove is not as nourishing as the one I get from Bond Aesthetic so I might actually take the other one back to Ross um because I got them from Ross or I give one to my mom but I just want to show you guys my nails. These are my favorite. Let me see if I can turn down the brightness a little bit more. So y'all can get into it. There we go. So y'all can really get into it, honey. Yes, come on, glitter. I love these little pearl looking things, though. They remind me of the ocean. So I think I'm going to call this set Hell Underwater. I hope you guys like it too. I love these. Morning. It is. Let me show you guys. Sorry. It is. Okay, we're not putting in the colors, baby. It is May 1st, Saturday at 7 25. And you know what that means? It is time for my official weigh in. So we're going to get this one going here. And that's okay. I'm exactly the same weight as I April. And I'm not sure if that's because my body's kind of um, plateauing right now because I have been steady losing weight. I haven't changed really anything except for I started going to the gym. Um, so, as of right, I'm sorry, that was so much. As of right now, I think that it's just that. Um, I'm plateauing a little bit, and that was okay, because I didn't feel like I had lost any weight. I'm it literally the same weight I was a month ago. I didn't go up a pound, I didn't go down a pound. And that's the thing about weight loss, y'all. Sometimes you're gonna plateau, sometimes you're gonna stick, so I have to do something to push past this plateau, which is gonna be me continue to work out and go to the gym, maybe do a little bit more extra cardio, which I'm already doing about 40 minutes. 35 to 40 minutes of cardio. Um, so I'm not sure what else I can do, but I'm going to look into it and see, you know, what I can get into to help me drop some more weight because I really want to lose some more weight because um, I don't want to be stuck in the 360s for too long um, since I have been here officially a full month. Okay. I did go to the bathroom as well. Make sure you go to the bathroom before you get on. Hey, y'all. So I'm getting ready to leave to go to my best friend's. <laughs> Um, going away party. So I didn't want to show you the complete look. So it's a little dark in here, but that's because I'm getting ready to go. And um, I don't know if it's the camera. Yeah, it's my mirror. For some reason, the Windex I got is hella, making my mirrors hella foggy. But um, I did want to pitch show y'all what I put together because the pearls, see the pearl from the queen and my pearl earrings and my pearl headband and I have a ring with a pearl in it. Um, yeah. So I'm just, you know, pearled up. These are pearl hoops. Pearl? What? Um, and that's just basically, I'm just wearing all black. Well, my pants are like a dark blue, but they look black. Um, and I'm just wearing pearl accessories. So. I thought that this shirt was so cute. Y'all know y'all seen this in my vlog. And I just love it. It's from Rainbow. It is stretchy. So I'm going to show you how stretchy it is. Um, so once again, like I said, if I was a little bit heavier, I think this would be 
a no-go but i love the arms y'all get into it. it's the sides for me dog like i love this little fufu shit right here y'all can't tell me this shit ain't cute like this i love this so just want to show you this Ooh, super quick Ooh. um but yeah i'm gonna go i'll talk to you guys later